Hello friends, good morning, welcome to Leg Life, and welcome to a day at sea. Mm -hmm. We slept great last night. Yeah, we both crashed pretty hard, we slept until almost 10 this morning. And here's the wonderful thing about the Discovery <laughs> Princess today. Breakfast goes till 11.30. Yep. I love being able to sleep in and still have breakfast. So, that is where we're gonna head now. While Sherry's and I'm getting her morning coffee, I'm actually here at the juice bar. This is included in our package, and I'm gonna start the morning, I think, with the Tropical Twist. Look at Sherry, she's just absolutely zoning out. <laughs> we just came and got a spot in Crooner's Bar. We're gonna try to do a little bit of reading, and I turned my chair, face the window. Not too bad of a view out the window. And we got Shania Twain, so it's a pretty good day. We spent about the last hour or so reading in the Crooner's Lounge, and then I wanted some fresh air. But since it's a sea day, and we are just flying along, it is pretty darn windy. So we came out here to that deck seven, little hidden deck area, and we put our chairs back here in the corner, and it blocks from the wind. Yeah, we still get some sunshine. We just came back to our stateroom after sitting outside and reading for a while. Mm -hmm. It felt really nice. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit of sunshine. <laughs> We've not sat outside in the sun a ton right. <coughs> on this trip, um, and so it felt so nice just to and sit up there warmth and warmth and read. And both of us are getting, because I know you guys care a lot about this update, both of us are getting close in our book to where I think we're going to finish both of our books before we finish the cruise. And that was the goal. <laughs> Fingers I crossed. At least one book on this cruise. Fingers crossed it's gonna happen. But we just came back to our stateroom uh, to drop off my book. It's sad. Yeah. This is one of those moments, and every single if you've been on a cruise, you understand the feelings. This is. You walk into the stateroom, everything is going great. You've had a wonderful day. You've had a nice buffet breakfast. You had some soft serve. You got some sunshine, and then you walk in your stateroom. And they punch you in your throat. And they punch you in your in your throat. Look at this. Cause you walk in and it's like, oh, we got some kind of announcement on our bed. Oh, it's disembarkation. It's the, you're gonna be getting off the ship soon letter. Dang it. I hate that. <laughs> so lame. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna set that over there. Future Adam and Sherry can deal with that stuff. There's a few things coming up today that we wanna go do. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to head out of our room and uh, go do some stuff. We came into the Shops of Princess to sure to get her a Pandora charm for the day. We'll show that in a minute. And they have these, like, they're kind of like wraps. Shawls. That are really pretty. And they said you can, like, tie them up. Use a swing cover up. Like, it reminds you of Maleficent. Yep, you're exactly right. Not a Disney cruise, but correct. All right, here's the Pandora charm of the day. A little suitcase. Got a little... I love Princess on there. You can see with the logo. Very cool. This yeah. was $5. You can see all the ones Sherry has on there now. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. I think a new obsession may have been formed this cruise. You are loving the whole Pandora thing. <laughs> so there are a couple of acrobats on board that we actually have not seen yet. Uh, they've performed a couple shows already. And we thought we wanted to catch them before they were done. So uh, let's see what they got. Okay, our next stop is a Princess Cruise tradition. It is afternoon tea. It happens, I think, on every sea day. We absolutely love, oh, <laughs> we absolutely love doing it, so let's go have tea. Afternoon tea is gonna be in the Skagway dining room. It's where we had our embarkation day lunch on day one of the cruise. So they came around with tea. You can see we've got scones with jam and cream already. And they just came by with a tray of sandwiches. I went tuna salad and egg salad. Oh my gosh, now the tray of desserts. And I think I'm on my third or fourth cup of tea. <laughs> totally are not supposed to cheers tea, but that's all right. So afternoon tea uh, is included in the price. There's no extra cost for it, which I think is great. 
They come around with little sandwiches, um, as you guys saw, desserts. Cookie and loose cakes. Yep, and then they just kind of keep coming around, filling your tea, giving you desserts, giving you mm -hmm. snacks. Sherry and I are different on our tea. She goes lemon. Do you do sugar? A little bit of sugar. Tiny bit? Yep, not a full pour. I do no lemon and cream and sugar. And the view from afternoon tea is not too bad either. Well, we showed you the princess tradition of the afternoon tea. Now we're about to partake in another princess tradition, the post-afternoon tea nap. <laughs> Guys, it's a real thing. After some scones and some sandwiches and some dirts and, and dirts? No, desserts. And I don't even know what dirts are. And like five cups of tea, we, I just want to go to sleep. And so, you know what? We're on vacation. Gosh darn it. We're going to take a nap. Well, we woke up. We both took a nap. Reds more, which was so nice. And we got dressed because tonight is another one of our formal nights. And we're currently waiting because down here in the lobby, we've heard they have, actually looks like here they come now, um, a bit of a, I'll use the word orchestra, but I don't think that's necessarily correct. But all of the musicians on the ship are getting together to perform at once. Uh, they were kind of talking about how Princess values live music and they want to continue just to give opportunities for all the musicians on board, not just to do their individual acts, but also to come together. I've never seen anything like this on any of cruise we've been on, and I'm excited to see it. And tonight, we come together for a musical journey around the world. Please join them together for the Princess World Office After listening to the orchestra there for just a little bit, we'll talk about it here in a second, we came into the Take 5 Jazz Club, and check this out. It is a table-side gin and tonic cart. I kind of love that. All right, Sherry, the uh, orchestra, the world orchestra, what'd you think? Beautiful. The acoustics in the atrium lobby is stunning. If that was a nighttime show in a big theater, I would go listen to it. Yeah. And I wish that was something that happened on every cruise ship. Like, pull all the musicians together and do a performance. It was, it it was, was amazing. It was so cool. Yeah, it was. I love it. Something else we know we love. Cocktails at Take 5. Mm -hmm. Sherry went with a classic Cosmo. I went with a drink called Night at the Apollo, which is gin, lime, lemon, blueberry, and mint. Tonight's dinner is in the Juno dining room, the one dining room we have not been in. And actually, so far, it may be the prettiest of the main dining rooms. You can see we have the wine cellar back there. And one of the things that Sherry pointed out is that there's kind of a darker wood and um, just decor in here, which makes it feel very, like... Relaxing. It's kind of masculine, but it feels very relaxing. I love it. Like, this is... Beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Big fan. I'm glad we came here. One of our goals on this trip was to eat at all of the main dining restaurants just kind of experience them even though they all have the same menu for dinner they all have different kind of feels and different looks and uh so far this one's the winner yeah. and here is the menu tonight you can see it is the gala dinner starters we have fried tofu cured salmon escargot a wedge salad crab and shrimp seafood bisque pasta is a cheesy tortellini mains with ham and peas that's a that's a sherry that's a sherry kind of meal right there. I want three of the starters and the pasta and I want main. You want three starters, pasta, and main? And I have room for probably one starter. Well, better make a decision. And then for the mains, uh, mushrooms, zucchini, mascarpone, crepes, pan seared snapper, seared duck breast, and then the land and sea, beef tenderloin with jus, lobster tail with bernays, double baked potato, soft hay spinach. Mm. Oh my gosh. So the menu item is complimentary. Um, however, you can add an additional steak and lobster because why not <laughs> for an extra $10. And then you can see some of the princess favorites over here, um, including the French onion soup that we love and have not had yet this entire cruise. So we have to get that. 
and then the dessert tonight. Princess Love Boat Dream, Lychee Raspberry and Rose Mousse, Chantilly Swan, Chocolate Pistachio Dome. Are you kidding me with all of this? Easy dinners come with bread and butter. We've got our rolls over there. <laughs> Look at the Sherry. I, <laughs> Sherry is <laughs> you're so cute. I asked if I could take her picture and she put her menu up in front of her face. So this is the picture I got, and honestly, I kind of love it. All right, our server here in the Juno dining room is amazing. He's great. Um, so tonight, obviously, the focus is like the land and sea, the filet and lobster, which actually isn't something I would normally get. I'm not a huge lobster fan. Um, and so I asked him, I was like, how's the duck? I'll eat your lobster. He was like, the duck is good. I was like, okay. He was like, how about you get the duck and the land and sea? I was like, okay. He's like, like, you're getting both. How do you he's want like, your meat? Yeah, he's like, you're getting both. Do you want, do you want your meat? I was like, medium rare. He's like, okay. <laughs> so apparently I'm getting duck uh, and steak, and Sherry can have my lobster. <laughs> I am okay with this plan. She also got the land and sea, so Sherry's getting two lobsters tonight, <laughs> and I don't think she's mad about it at all. First course is here, and I went with escargot, one of my absolute favorite things. I know some people are grossed out by it. Um, so it's good. garlicky and buttery and delicious and wonderful, and I'm so excited to have these. Sherry Beth, what is your first course? Crab and shrimp seafood bisque. Sounds amazing. Yeah. The escargot is amazing, but there is a requirement when eating escargot. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have a little bit of bread, because that butter and garlic in there needs to be sopped up eating. Can't leave that behind. Well, obviously we didn't enjoy those at all. Terrible. Not, really not even good a little bit. Would not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> Would not recommend. They were both so good. Oh my gosh, yes. Next course is here, and I got the French onion soup. I love the French onion soup on Princess. You can see lots of onions in there, just like super good flavor, lots of cheese on top. Very excited about that. Although, Sherry made me promise that she could have some bites if I ordered this, so I guess I gotta share. <laughs> she went with the wedge salad. I did. Yum. Our mains have been delivered. Um, here is our lobster and filet. Comes with a, some veggies in the middle. Looks like a twice baked potato. Uh, Bernays sauce. This is the duck, and it looks really good. Mm -hmm. And then Sherry got the plain lobster as well. Well, we ordered two desserts. He brought four. Um, he was set on us trying the pistachio dome, I will he say. Said that that's what he, wanted. he was like, ugh. He's like, ugh, I'm just gonna bring it for you. So I got the Princess Love Boat Dream, which I've had before, and it's really good. Sherry went with the creme brulee. With lemon madeline cookies. And then he brought the, um, the swan, the Chantilly swans. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're already full. All right, we have stopped Ooh, by Princess I'm Live so for one of the trivia shows. It is the game show live happening right now. Music stops and you have to finish the lyrics. So we got here too late to play, but I've got to say so far, I don't think Sherry and I would have missed any of them. Sherry. We should have been playing this game. Ooh, she reaches up and she pulls it down? Okay, Sherry. Wow. Let's talk dinner real quick. Yeah. It was amazing. It was so good. It was a lot of food. The best main dining experience yet on this cruise. Yep. As far as service, food, and all that kind of stuff. Yep. It was wonderful. Next, you guys, we have karaoke. Bring a door, keep the pots on fire. Well, we stayed for the entire karaoke. Yeah. Um, we were gonna leave halfway through or so to go to the 80s dance party. But it was just so bad. It was just so bad, <laughs> and so great. That's the thing I love about Princess. Like, everybody just shows up with the very best, either fun or skill that they have. <laughs> I, I have never had a bad experience at karaoke on Princess. I yeah. love it so much. Yeah. Uh, today was a good day, mm -hmm. relaxing, and we're actually not ending the vlog here. You know, normally we do a video per day, but since we have two back-to-back -back at sea days, we thought, you know what, let's just combine those. 
So uh, I think Sherry's going to bed. Yep. I'm gonna run to the International Cafe, grab a snack, and I'm gonna go to the casino, <laughs> and then we'll pick you guys up uh, in the morning. Well, good morning, friends. It is the next day. Just got up, left the room. Sherry's still in the stateroom, getting ready for the day, and I am at a culinary demonstration and galley tour. Very excited for this. I'm actually like 10 minutes early, so there's not a lot of people here so far in the Princess Theater. Well, I guess it's time to start. Today I get the opportunity to introduce you to our culinary masters here on board. And not only that, at the end of this presentation, end of this cooking demonstration, we're going to take you into the galley. We're going to give you an apron. We're going to make you wash the dishes! Then you need to keep the whisking yeah. and keep boiling to the dressing. Yeah. Yeah. So curry is not that much while it's going to be... <laughs> we are producing more than 500 kilos of semolina flour. And uh, we are doing uh, uh, fresh pasta from the lasagna in the world fresh market, from the pappardelle, the fettuccini, the tagliatelle, the, the fettuccini in Alfredo sauce in the main dining room, the penne thai, the bold thai pasta, the fusilli, the twill pasta, as well the alphabet pasta and the little bucatini that you have in the lovely sauce today. Many types of pasta. We have in the Italian night, a beautiful pasta that is cooked in the dining room by the, by the managers of each venue. Chef, how much of tomato sauce for that service have you used? Even applause to the Italian dinner, 600 liters of tomato sauce only for that dinner. Which I hope you can enjoy everything. The culinary demonstration is over. Now we are heading to the galley, a part of the ship I've actually always wanted to see. Well, we've entered the galley and it is pretty much non-stop stainless steel almost everywhere you look even the ceiling this is really interesting look at this on the wall it's what every plate is supposed to look like that's pretty awesome all of the different meals you see you got more of the galley there you can see the whole area there. They have lots of different fruit displays along the way. Hi, how are you? Oh, this is cool. They actually have the executive chef here and the maitre d' that we get to meet. That's fun. My gosh, I don't know if you guys can see that whole thing back there is filled with what looks like rice. Wow. Look who I found. The galley tour was very cool. Yeah. It's basically, I mean, everything is stainless steel. It's crazy when you first walk in there. Like ceiling, every machine, just everything. Yeah, it was very fun. I liked it. It's the nerdy kind of thing that I enjoy doing. I know. <laughs> How's your morning been? Good. Yeah. Uh, vanilla flat white. Mm-hmm. Another breakfasty things. And I just sat in good spirits and read for a little while. Nice. Close. Oh, look at how close you're finishing your book. Yeah. We went back to the stateroom, put on a little bit warmer clothes because it is kind of cold outside, mm -hmm. which for Alaskans is not necessarily <laughs> something we expected. <laughs> now we've got our books. Look how close I am to finishing mine. Sherry's close to finishing hers, so we need to find a quiet spot to read. I just stepped outside and you can see it is a beautiful sunny day. Windy, of course, because we are cruising through the ocean, but still feels pretty darn wonderful well this is a big moment uh and i don't know how this happened sherry and i were both reading uh i was reading this book sherry was reading fourth wing and we both finished our books within a half page a half sherry. page of each other i like, finished and i was like oh my god he's like i have a half page left. i was like i have a half page <laughs> one of my favorite places look at this walking out over but then this is where it gets kind of scary because you have the one that cracked <laughs> Sherry, Sherry leg, come on, look at that. It's time for pizza and fruity drinks on the pool deck. As we look outside, just kind of uh, watch the world flow by for one last day. And we got a Harry Styles concert up here on the big screen on the pool deck. So 
That's where Sherry and I are. So we just spent the last, oh gosh, I don't know, hour plus? Sitting here talking with uh, our neighbor in the chairs next to us while we finish out the Harry Styles yep, no, concert. Fantastic now Fantastic Beasts is on. <laughs> I told Sherry it's like a it's a very it's a very hairy day. Harry Styles into Harry Potter. Well, pre pre Harry Potter. All right, here we are at Princess Trivia Challenge. We've got our drinks. We've got our trivia card here. Sherry, what should our team name be? Alright, to my lovely teams that team have just walked awesome. in. <laughs> team awesome. super minutes. cool so awesome. It's not the best name. We'll work on the team names. I'm also going to work on the drinks. And thanks to Sherry, we've got our handy dandy little princess reusable straws. Thank goodness. Alright, here's question number question one. Question number one is, what rock group was originally named the Warlocks? What rock group was originally named the Warlocks? We are not off to a good start unless you somehow know this. All right, question two. Who won the Grammy for their best rock album in 2006 for How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb? I think I know this one. So we're one for two. All right, I feel like some of you will know the answer to this. Name the only city to have hosted the Olympics three times. Both Sherry and I guessed opposite cities. So, <laughs> so <laughs> my guess is that neither of us are right, but certainly both of us are not right. You guys, finally one that we know. This is this is maybe the first question that we have had no doubts about. <laughs> all right, Sherry, we're 18 questions in. Confidence level that we've gotten them all right. A solid 5%. You think there's a 5% chance we've gotten them all right? No. <laughs> I was gonna say, we didn't even answer them all. Yeah, but yeah. I know we have a blank. <laughs> so, <laughs> and 19 is, you are correct if your answer was yes. me. Yay! We got five in a row, right? Lucky guess, lucky guess. <laughs> all right, how many do we get right? 10. Out so of 20. Excellent. Well solid 50%. Just now we're walking by the shops and we saw 60% off. Man, look at these. They have these like princess crossbody bags. Uh, $24. Uh, they also have these princess coffee tumblers. Look at how precious. It's pink and gold. It's how much? 95 60% off. Wait. It says take it at a price, right? 60% off at $12.95? That's an amazing price. I mean, we're, we're losing money if we don't get it. We're, well, that's literally not how it works, but I... <laughs> not <for> cruise map. <laughs> and they also have these, like, princess mini backpacks. These are adorable in like the darker blue and the teal. Sherry sure, got a couple of things. Mm -hmm. You got a princess notebook. notebook. It's got a little sea witch there in the corner. Yep. Right there. And then you got that uh, that pink coffee mug. Yeah. The ceramic coffee mug you got. I did. Uh, with pink and gold and they were both on sale. It was how much for both of those? $10.50 combined. For both? For both. Feels like a great price. And for those of you following along on Sherry's Pandora journey. <laughs> She got the final charm. This is the final charm uh, here on this cruise, and this one was free. Pretty cool, so we'll have to put it on our bracelet later. <laughs> well, now it is time for the stupidest part of cruising. Sherry, we have to start packing. I don't like this one. I, I don't like it one bit at all. Not one single cell in my body that's excited for this. Nope. Uh, we have to have our bags outside of our stateroom here in a couple of hours, mm -hmm. so we could wait. Whoa, what's going on with your hair there? <laughs> it's like the mirror has got like, all right. The cruise hair, don't care. <laughs> um, and so, could wait a couple of, could wait a couple of hours. We're just going to get it in now. We're just going to get it done, and we're not going to like pack, because we are going to be staying at our friends again, so we're just going to, we'll repack and make sure things are like secure. So our plan. At their house. So we have two big suitcases and one small suitcase, and then of course our backpacks. Uh, we are going to pack just our big suitcases and put those outside of the room tonight so we don't have to deal with them. Mm -hmm. And then we'll keep the small bag and our backpacks with us. Yes. It's still stupid. So kind of the way we're doing this is, these are all dirty clothes. You guys know we did laundry a few days ago, but these are clothes we've worn in the last few days. So we're gonna put all of our dirty clothes on one side with our laundry hamper, with some Sue's, and then we're just gonna zip this one closed. And then we have, those all your shoes? Yep. Cute. And then we have this side 
and then the whole other suitcase for clothes that we have that are still what the heck is going on? There's like clothes flying at me for clothes that are still clean. And those are all clean clothes, correct? Yep. Okay. From the hanging closet. Got it. One suitcase, we think, mostly done. So we're gonna close this up, mm -hmm. get the other suitcase out, see how full that is. Uh, it really is the stupidest part of vacation. It's so sad. Early this morning, our stateroom host did come by our room and delivered the tequila that we bought on our excursion. So that's how that worked, at least here on this Princess Cruise. Um, that was really nice, because sometimes you have to like go to a room and pick it up on the last morning. Nope, they actually brought it to us, to our stateroom this morning. I think this is gonna work. Uh, so we have all of the like tequila, gifts, other things like that on this side, and we're keeping this bag with us. Um, and we'll have to, like Sherry said, repack all of this stuff when we get to our friend's house. Mm -hmm. Um, but this side will be for like our toiletries that we're going to use still tonight in the morning. The clothes we're wearing now. Yes. Because... Perfect. So this bag stay with us. This bag I think is mostly packed. Got a few, got a little more space here. So we'll fill it with stuff. Fill it with, yeah. And then I think we're good. Just like that you can see we have our Princess Cream 3 tag on each of our bags. So those, ready to go outside our stateroom. Bags. Ah, outside of our stateroom. But here's the nice thing. It's only a little after six o'clock. We still have the whole rest of tonight. Yeah. And tomorrow morning. Vacation's not over, gosh darn it. Not over yet. We're still gonna have fun. Yeah. Let's go have fun. <laughs> also, I smell popcorn. Yes. Now I want popcorn. <laughs> and the first thing we want to do tonight is come outside and see our last sunset at sea on this cruise. Always a beautiful sight. We love seeing them. Very pretty, you can see right off the back of the ship over here. And what's crazy is it actually doesn't feel like the ship is rocking a ton. But look at the pool. It's like the water going back and forth. Yeah, I don't, it feels like it's rocking, but not that much. And also, I think I might've seen two people in this pool the entire cruise. Because Sharon and I are just standing here, and she said the exact same thing. It doesn't feel like it's rocking as bad as no, the pool shows. I mean, I and I'm fine. But like the water, it looks like it's And every now and then, there's like it like really splashes, <laughs> which is fun. I don't know why we're standing here watching this. This is so <laughs> dumb. But like, yeah. <laughs> we just came back to the Take Five Jazz Club to enjoy a couple drinks, to enjoy some live jazz, because. We just got some interesting news, and Sherry's feeling the stress. Um, so many of you will know that Alaska Airlines has grounded a bunch of flights, and we just got the email while we're on our cruise that our flights home are canceled. And they're hoping to get us on flight in the next few days. The next few days. So here's the thing. There's literally nothing we can do about it. It's out of our control, and it's not our fault. So we are going to make the best of it. And uh, I guess spend a few extra days in California. You guys will obviously see that on upcoming vlogs <laughs> because um, we're not flying home when we thought we were. Right. So let's get some drinks and enjoy some jazz. To amazing last cruise nights and eventually getting home. <laughs> Out of take five and going straight across the hall to the Princess Theater for the oh, just so you know, there is Churchill's smoking lounge in case you're a cigar or a, or a smoker. Sherry, obviously, not a fan, but here's what's going on here tonight. I'm super excited about this. It's the farewell variety show featuring all the singers, dancers, guest entertainers, and officers on the ship. I think it sounds fun. And they only have one showing of this tonight. At 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. We're about a half an hour early. But I think this show may be really full since there's only one showing. So we're gonna get here early. Try to get a seat. One last look at the Princess Theater. It is a beautiful theater. Mm -hmm. We've seen some really great shows in here this cruise. I'm excited for the final one. Well, we still got a 
12 minutes before the start of the show. But I guess we're starting now. The hits just keep coming, Sherry. See you clapping, Sherry. There you go. All right, everybody, here we go. This is our moment. You walk down the hallway, you realize maybe the secret is not locked. So you send someone back, your husband, your wife, they go, they walk back there, check the, uh, that this door is locked. Then on the last night, you take the entire contents of your stateroom and just leave it in the hallway. I got this suit from a lovely cabin on deck 11. I did. My love. I found in uh, one of our dining rooms here on board, and he was just dancing around like this casually. And I said, my friend, I want you to come up on this stage and do it for these guests tonight. And tonight, folks, is his very first time that he's ever done this to a crowd. He has never performed on a stage before. So I need your help. Can you make him feel like the celebrity he should be out there? I work as a junior waiter in catching and dining room. <laughs> Folks, one week ago you joined us up here for a vacation of a lifetime. We went to some incredible ports of call. Did you have a good time at all our ports of call out there? Folks, make some noise for the offices of the Discovery Princess! <laughs> folks, for the final time this cruise, for me, Cole, your Kiwi Cruise Director here on board, so we just finished the farewell variety show and we didn't know what to expect we've never seen anything like that on a cruise it was amazing it was really good yep it was super fun to like he introduced us to everybody and you know it was it was a lot of fun it, even everybody did a great job like bringing out the uh the guy from the dining room team the dancer <laughs> It was amazing. <laughs> this, I think, was my favorite way to end a cruise as far as shows go. I think so too. That we've ever seen. Yeah. Loved it. So this is uh, super cool. They brought out a lot of the dining team and they all have flags of the countries where they're from. Uh, let me give you, we love numbers here on board, so I want to give you some numbers of our food and beverage operations, just so you can understand the enormous complexity behind it. We have 219 members from the galley. We have 336 working in the restaurant. And maybe for the last time, walk up, the door is unlocked. Boo. Well, our final day is coming to an end. We are going to sleep tonight and we're gonna wake up tomorrow back at the port of Los Angeles where we will get off of Discovery Princess and uh, well, I was gonna say go home, but no, we're not going home. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> so I don't want to give you a full cruise review 
because we're going to make a separate video of that. And I want to give us some time to kind of process everything, think back to everything, because I think sometimes on vacations, in the moment, everything's perfect and wonderful and great. And then you think about it, and it's like, oh, actually, these things could have been better. <laughs> um, but I will say in the moment, uh, we've talked a lot about this. Yeah. This has been an amazing cruise. Really good cruise. Yep. Um, there have been so many things that even after... So this is our 12th cruise. And one of the things that I've wondered is that the more cruises we go on, is there a point where it starts to become... Uh, we're just kind of over it, right? Everything feels the same. Yeah, monotonous or, you know, just kind of copy and paste. Yes, copy and paste. I don't think that any of our cruises have been alike. No, they've, they've all been all different. they've all kind of had their own thing. Yeah. Um... I'm really glad we went on this one. Yeah, I am too. Um, what a last fun couple of sea days. Mm -hmm. And now we go to sleep one more time in this unbelievably comfortable bed. <laughs> yeah. With these very heavy blankets in this cold stateroom. Yeah, we have it all the way, like as cold as it gets. Our poor stateroom host is probably like, where are these people from? He's like, are they, what do you get from Alaska? Like, I, no, literally, actually we are. Like there's a noticeable difference when you walk out in the hall. <laughs> But we sleep so good. We do. <laughs> the room is as cold as it can get, and then mm -hmm. we just bury ourselves under blankets. Yep. And so, friends, thanks for watching uh, this whole cruise series. Like I said, we're going to put out a cruise review video where we tell you uh, our thoughts on Discovery Princess, our thoughts mm -hmm. on this itinerary, thoughts on everything about this cruise. Mm -hmm. um, but I can already tell you, it, it's going to be glowing. <laughs> it's going to be glowing. Because yeah. it was great. We love you guys so very much, and we will see you on the next Lug Life video. Mm -hmm.